Father, we come to you in the name of your Son, Jesus. And we believe that you are here with us by your sweet Holy Spirit. And we just surrender each and every one of us and people who are still on the way. We just surrender all of us into your hands. And we pray, Holy Spirit, that you would speak to our hearts today, Lord. Minister to our hearts. Open our eyes to things that you want us to see. Help us understand things you want us to understand. Help us receive things that you want us to receive. Help us walk into things and areas where you walk in, walk, want us to walk, Lord God. In Jesus' name we pray. Everybody said? Amen. <coughs> you know, how many of you know our God is a dreamer? Our God is a dreamer. If you don't know, I will tell you, I will prove it to you. you know? Our God dreams dreams. And out of the dreams that he dreamt were born visions for your life and my life. Yeah, yeah. Amen? Let me say that again. Out of the dreams that God dreamt were born visions for your life and my life. Usne jo sapne dekhe, permission ne. उन सपनों में से आपकी जिंदगी के लिए और मेरी जिंदगी के लिए दर्शन जन्मे मकसद पैदा हुए हालेलुया एंड वी आल्सो नो दैट आवर गॉड इज अ गॉड ऑफ विजन ही डजंट डू एनीथिंग एमलेसली आईमैन परमेश्वर अगर कुछ करना चाहता है कुछ कोई चीज करने की शुरुआत करता है तो उसके पीछे हमेशा एक मकसद होता है आईमैन ही ऑलवेज नोस what he wants to achieve by the end of a certain activity. When God said in Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, let there be light. It was not wishful thinking. He desired that there would be light. That means he first visualized how the earth would be with light. He saw it in his heart and mind that it would be good. That was his dream and he spoke it. And when light happened, he looked at it and he said, this is exactly what I dreamt about. And so it is good. That is Vijay Valula translation. Are you understanding me? So, Every time God decides to do something, there is an end result that He has already desired, dreamt, spoken about. And all of these things are connected to you and me. Amen? All of these things are connected to who? Say me. me. Say me. me. Loudly, say me. me. Say, God's dreams, God's dreams are connected to me. Connected to me. Amen. It does not matter how young or how old you are. Yeah. Hallelujah. It doesn't matter what your age is. 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 See, the fact that God said, Let us make man, you know, same Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, 27, 28. He says, let us make man in our own image. You know, I love it how it's written in the NLT. It says, then God said, let us make human beings in our image to be like us. If you have the NLT version, it says, Aao hum manushya ko banaye apne swaroop mein, apni samanta mein, taki wo hum jaisa ho. That means, he did not just make man because he had nothing else to do. He made man and his purpose of making man and what he desired for man was that he would be like us. 
and then he said i am not making this man like me just because i am bored of myself just because i am tired looking at you know father did not say listen jesus and i i love you you my only son you know but i i need to look at some more people he didn't he's like no 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 i will we will make man so that they will reign over the fish in the sea the birds in the sky the livestock all the wild animals on the earth the small animals that you know that that, that, that creep along the gr- ground so there was a purpose behind god making man so even before god decided to make man his purpose was established in god's heart amen isse pehle ki parmeshwar manushya ko bana tha manushya kya karega uske jeevan mein ye uske dil mein pehle se hi sthapit ho gaya tha amen it was already established in god's heart what vijay will do when he is born on this earth it was already decided what each one of us would do in the heart of god it was already decided that's why he made us see no carpenter makes a chair if he doesn't intend to sit on it Amen. If I purchase a guitar, I should buy it only if I want to play the guitar. Right? Sometimes we buy it just because my friend bought it, I also feel like But that's not how God functions. For every animal that we don't know about he still had a purpose yeah. we are just not here by accident yeah. yes. amen. amen it's not that you know one day your pa- parents met they fell in love and then boom you were there in god's great wisdom he brought them together yeah. Yeah. amen because he saw you before the foundations of the earth were laid amen hallelujah if we read the book of ephesians chapter 1 it says even before the foundations of the earth were laid even before we were born even before we were formed in the womb of our mother it says he knew us he sanctified us he anointed us he predestined us for things amen even before you knew your name god knew your destiny yeah. Yeah. hallelujah isse pehle ki humko hamara naam pata ho parmeshwar ko hamari manzil pata thi kyunki usne tay kiya tha hallelujah why am i saying this to you because there is everything that we see happening around us is happening according to a vision that the person has seen for his own life or her life everybody is running behind something that they want to achieve amen see the thing is till the time i go to work to make money i will only make money but the bible says seek ye first the kingdom of god and his righteousness and money will follow you don't have to go to work for it I go to work because there is a place that I want to impact for the glory of the son of God who came to die on the cross for me. And that's why the Bible says when you work in your office when you work, go to work work for your boss as if you're working for me. Yeah. Hallelujah. See I know we don't like our bosses. See we don't like our bosses why they keep giving us assignments they make us sit overtime and sometimes don't pay that overtime they are task masters but the bible says you're not called to like your boss you still called to honor him 
so when i go to work i i represent somebody i represent somebody jab jab main bahar duniya mein nikalta hu i am an advertisement for jesus amen amen main jis tarike se kaam karta hu unhone aake mere ko puchna chahiye tu aisa kaisa karta hai re so when they come and ask you don't say are i am a, you know very honest no 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 i'm glad you're honest but when they are amazed at the integrity with which you work you say i do this because i love my god yes yes i don't understand you do this if you love god you should go to church no 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 if i love god i will show that love and integrity and honesty and truth in every aspect of my life because that's what god desires out of me yes. hallelujah so there is a vision attached to every activity that we do hallelujah some people go to work to earn money some people go to work because they like the respect that they get when they sit in a cabin it's a matter of honor for some people amen for some people it's like meko kaam karne ka zarurat nahi hai because i have ancestral money but i want to keep myself busy so everybody has different reasons har ek ke paas alag alag karan hai ki wo kyun kaam pe jata hai like i remember one boy when i i was working the guy used to earn 11000 rupees he was a junior associate but the fellow used to come to work in a skoda <laughs> the day i saw him park the skoda in the parking la tu kaam pe kyu aata hai pehle nahi kuch to karna padega na matlab then i realized his father was a big shot so for his you know because he was spending more money on petrol than he was earning <laughs> so his reason of coming to work was different what i'm trying to say is there is an activity attached to everything that we do amen you know uh, the the vision that we have needs to be driven right you know when the bible says john chapter 10 verse 10 that the, the the thief comes only to steal kill and destroy that means the thief also has a vision yeah. 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 amen and the bible says but jesus came that you and i might have life yeah. and life in its fullness yeah. that means he also had a vision yes. yeah. hallelujah yeah. so neither is the devil working aimlessly and of course god is not working aimlessly in the first place right but the sad part is a lot of christians today have no vision for their life now i want you to think main chahta hu aap soche why do you come to church every sunday morning hum kyu aate hain church i know we come to worship but you can worship at home also no but yeah we love the fellowship fellowship is important god desired for us to, so we together come as the body of christ and worship that is the primary reason we come together but apart from that what is it that you are seeking after what is it that you desire for god to do you know there was one question and that 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 question still is that you know older people like to ask younger people bada ho ke kya banna hai kitne logo ko pucha gaya ye sawal wo bhi aise time pe pucha gaya jab bhi shirt mein button kaise dalne ka malum nahi tha I am telling you the truth. I know of people who are 25, 20, 9, 30 years of age they still don't know what they want to do in life. But they will ask young kids, you know why they are asking? It's not to ridicule them. It's because if you know at that age what you want to do, you will run after it in your prime. 
Amen? So the question is, why do you come to church? What is it that you think God has asked you to do? Uh, and let me tell you, God has called nobody to become a preacher. Let's cancel that. That is part of the job. Or rather the smallest part of our ministry. What is the vision we carry for ourselves? And I want you to think. You know, write that down in bold if you're writing, taking notes. What is the vision for my life? What are my dreams? What do I want to become when I get older? Some of you might have achieved some of it. Some of you might still be figuring it out. There's nothing wrong. Because we know that God is working with a plan. Hallelujah. Now, a lot of people when they're young, they know what they want to do. Everybody desires to do something. There is, there is nobody in this room who never thought to himself, I want to do this. And you might have thought about things every day that you want to do. But then you got confused. Yes, no. And in the confusion, what we do is, we don't do any of it. Yes? Yes. But thank God you had those thoughts. Because it's not too late to start doing something about it. Yeah. I thought you'd be very happy about it. Yeah. See, at the most, when you start doing the first thing, and you do it for three months, you realize, no, no, this is, this is not for me. I don't think, you know, I, I, I just thought I'd like doing this, but now that I have done it, you know, I don't think this is what I want to do for the rest of my life. And it can be very, something very simple. It, it, you know, it's not something that can lead to money. Okay. Please understand, I'm not talking about things that will lead to money eventually. Because everything today that people want to do should eventually end up being their bank account credited with money. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about what is it that you think God has bought you in this world for? Hallelujah. You know, I want you to open to the book of Jeremiah chapter 29 verse 11 for I know the plans I have for you declares the Lord plans to prosper you and not to harm you plans to give you a hope and a future hallelujah God is saying I know the plans I have for you when you wrote down what is the vision for my life, जब आपने उस किताब के ऊपर लिखा मेरे जीवन के लिए मेरा दर्शन क्या है कि परमेश्वर क्या चाहता है मेरे जीवन से आप में से कईयों को नहीं पता था। But the good news is there is somebody who knows because God is saying He is declaring I know the plans I have for you. Now can you imagine God has a plan for you. Just think about it for a moment. You are so important to God that He sat down and He made a detailed plan that Alvin will be born on such and such day, in such and such year, in such and such household, he will grow up learning Tamil. He will learn Hindi when he steps out of the house. He will educate himself in computer science and know nothing about it. <laughs> But there 
I will put a desire inside of his heart that he will take a liking to dance and arts and entertainment. <laughs> and he will educate himself in that. He will learn, he will teach. And it is not so, so that he can go and choreograph somebody else's dances and make money. It is so that when he is alone and there is nobody or even when there is a crowd, he will dance to me and I will see and be extremely happy about it. Amen. He made a detailed plan. So in, in heaven, I believe there is this huge cabinet which says, this is Vijay's cabinet. Day one, 1982, 20th of June, 7.20 a.m. Ta-da! <laughs> So God has these plans. He has each and every day of your life documented. Amen. 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 He, he has an account of everything you've done, everything you've said, everything you thought. And then there is the original plan. And then there is a comparison. Mm. Okay. Nothing that I planned for him. <laughs> this fellow is done. <laughs> we need to do something about it. And before we could kill ourselves in our confusion, thank God Jesus met us. Amen. Amen. And when we found Jesus, one day at a time, one hour at a time, the mismatch started reconciling. So if you don't know what you've got to do in life, go to the one who knows. Because the Bible says, God is saying, your creator is saying, I know what I planned for you. And it is in, let me give you an assurance. He says, I know you're going through a lot of confusion, but let me tell you, according to my plan, there is no harm in your life. According to my plan, you do not take defeat. According to my plan, you always prosper. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So let's settle one thing forever. That defeat is not your portion. Yes. Amen. 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 Defeat. Harna aapka manzil nahi hai. Amen. My plans are to give you a hope. You know, some people die because they don't have any hope left. That's the only reason people die or kill themselves before time. But that's not God's plan for you and me. Your life and my life is filled with hope. Because to give that hope, Jesus came. Yes. Hallelujah. Yeah. So when he says, I have plans for you, what in other words he's saying, I have a vision for your life. Yeah. Yeah. And I want to reveal that vision to you. Amen. Now there was a man by the name Habakkuk. And one day, he was complaining with God. You know, if we read the book of Habakkuk, 
in the first chapter, he is complaining, full on complaining. Now, it says, God is telling Habakkuk, write down the vision on tablets, make it plain, make it simple, so that he who reads it can run after it. Amen. He say, God is saying, now, if we read this in isolation, if we only read this vachan, the other adhyay, the other and the third vachan, we will understand that the Lord is saying that I have given you a vision, so that the vision is the purpose, so that the purpose is to write on the big boards, so that those who see it and read it, they दौड़ता रहे उस दर्शन को पाने तक उसके दर्शन के पूरा होने तक लेकिन अगर हम पहले अध्याय से पढ़ेंगे तो हबकुक ने परमेश्वर से कोई दर्शन मांगा नहीं वो तो कंप्लेन कर रहा था इफ इफ यू रीड चैप्टर वन इट स्टार्ट्स विद द फर्स्ट कंप्लेन ऑफ हबकुक डी सी दैट द टाइटल the first complaint of Habakkuk. And it says, Oh Lord, how long shall I cry for help? And you will not hear. Anybody understands what is happening here? Anybody identifies with it? This is us, you know. Lord, I have been praying for so long. When will you answer? It says, Oh Lord, how long shall I cry for help and you will not hear or cry to you violence and you will not save? Why do you make me see iniquity and why do you idly look at wrong? Destruction and violence are before me, strife and contention arise, so the law is paralyzed and justice never goes forth. For the wicked surround the righteous. So justice goes forth. What is it? Perverted. He is complaining. Habakkuk is complaining about things that he is seeing around. Most li like us. We keep complaining, God, this is not happening. God, that is not happening. God, see so many scams are happening. God, petrol prices are going high. God, women have been treated badly. God, when will you change things? God, this government is not doing anything. Ye government kuch nahi karti. Ye, wo, aisa hai, waisa hai. Idhar na shura hai, udhar na shura hai, udhar log mar rahe. Prabhu, tu kab jawab dega? Tu kyu nahi karta hai? And verse 5, God answers. He says, look among the nations and see. See, we look at a lot of things, but we don't see. What God is doing. We look at things happening. But we fail to see the hand of God that is working behind the scene. And that's why God is saying, He, he said, look into the nations and see wonder and be astounded for I am doing a work in your days. Yeah, Say, I am doing a work in your days that you would not believe if I told you. How amazing is that? He's saying, if I tell you, you will not do it. Now we say this so many times. क्या बोलूं तेरको मैं? God बोल रहा है क्या बोलूं मैं तेरको? अगर मैं तेरको बताऊंगा मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ ना? तेरको समझ में नहीं आएगा? तू भरोसा नहीं करेगा क्योंकि तू देख रहा है मगर देख नहीं पा रहा है कि मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ? Because I am still up to doing my vision. Amen. When God, now imagine this, God is saying this, I am doing something and then next part of the chapter, the guy starts complaining again. 
इफ यू सी इट सेस गो अहेड आगे जाके अगर हम पढ़ेंगे तो लिखा है सेकंड कंप्लेन ऑफ हबाकुक देख रहे मतलब कितना कंप्लेन करेगा यार ही इज यू नो गॉड वुड बी सेइंग आई टोल्ड यू आई एम डूइंग दिस इज लाइक John the Baptist saying sending his disciples to Jesus and saying are you the one who was supposed to come or should i wait for somebody else are you the one who was supposed to come or should i look out for some other messiah and Jesus is saying go and tell John the blind see the mute speak the lame walk the dead are being raised and the gospel has been preached to the poor now basically john was complaining if you are the messiah why am i inside the jail because i heard from heaven and i declared it to the world that you are the messiah so and if you are the messiah why am i in jail In other words John is saying are you going to do something about bringing me out of this place And Jesus is saying no 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 go and tell John the blind are seeing the lame are walking the gospel is being preached John you are inside because that was my plan for you not that you will be killed but you went inside fulfilling what i had decided for you yeah. because what i decided for you is there i will make a man stand before a king and say you are wrong yeah. Yeah. amen yeah. see one thing that we don't want to do in today's world is stand before somebody who is elder to us in authority or more influential and say excuse me you are wrong but john i wanted that for your life that they would see that i can make people stand before authority and still tell them that these are the statutes of heaven that you have to follow amen Habakkuk is saying God this is not going right that is not going right everything is a mess and then God says write down the vision on tablets so that they who see who read would run basically what i understand out of this is Habakkuk knows what is going wrong right he's telling god this is not right that is not right that means habakkuk also knows how it should be yeah. Yeah. and god is saying habakkuk if you know how it should be why don't you write it down yeah. habakkuk you complaining vijay you are complaining arh you are complaining if you know how things are supposed to be why don't you write them down and write them in such a manner that whoever sees starts running behind that vision starts running behind the idea of accomplishing what they see see we all go to malls no everybody's been to a mall right yes no yes. we all like malls you know why because even if you don't want to buy a thing you can touch that thing you can pick it up you can see try it also click a selfie and put it back the banya on the road side next to your house will not let you do that because it's a marketing strategy what you see and touch and feel you desire to have yeah. Yeah. it is not a marketing strategy it is god strategy because god said write down so that when they see they run after it 
<laughs> Alleluia. That's why as soon as you enter the mall, they will write 50% off. उसके बाजू में छोटा अप टू लिखा रहेगा इधर यू आपने देखा आपने पढ़ा और आप उसके पीछे चर्च वी नीड टू नो व्हाट वी आर रनिंग आफ्टर हमको पता है क्या गलत हो रहा है You know, I remember once I was listening to Bishop Jakes, and this is what he said: "You don't know what what you want to do in life." And a lot of people in the church, thirty thousand odd people sitting, I said, "No, no, I don't know this." No. He's like, "If you see something, and you feel it can be done better, or it can be changed, make that your purpose." Hallelujah. अगर तुम कोई चीज देखो और देखकर तुमको लगे यार ये बेहतर किया जा सकता है या इसको बदलना चाहिए पॉलिटिशियन God is not like a politician who has to sit ke house mein majority will say yes and then they will pass a bill He is God He does not need public support to be God because public did not put him on the throne Amen Amen See Saul needed public support to become the king because it was the people who demanded a king but the same people when they found David they said we don't want Saul anymore now we want David So don't make your plans according to what people think you should become because god has a plan for you Amen. hallelujah hallelujah the youngest one in this house god has a plan for you yes the eldest one in this house god has a plan for you Amen. you know it's okay if you've not figured it out yet but it's never too late to chase after your dreams yes. hallelujah God is saying if i only tell you what i am doing the reason i'm not telling you is because you will not believe me i am not saying god is saying that agar main tumko bataun to bhi tum bharosa nahi karoge i'll tell you a couple of things about people who are people of vision it's not enough that we know the vision for our life the vision should capture us meri zindagi ka jo maqsad hai mujhe sirf pata hona zaruri nahi hai wo maqsad ne meri zindagi ke upar kabza kar lena zaruri hai and that's the story of john the baptist see what he did became such a part of his life that it became his identity He went about preaching repentance. He went about saying repent for the kingdom of God is at hand and be baptized. Yes. So everybody who came to him said repent, be baptized. Kingdom of God is at hand. He said like, yes, I repent. Come, let me baptize you. 1 2 3 4. And so everybody started calling him John the Baptist. Yes. His vision consumed him in such a way that the vision became his name his identity yes. Yes. till the time they don't say are ye na iska naam ye hai pagal hai kuch to banana chahta hai ye you know in 
Mumbai recently, if you read news, this man built a plane, not like a big jumbo, but a plane, proper functional plane on his terrace. Now imagine this, when he went to his terrace on the first day, his wife would have said, now I'm thinking, Maharashtra Nadmi, of course she spoke in Marathi, she said, what is Allah? Can I go to Gachiwar kaya kar ayla? Plane ban hona rami. Ata tum cha vay hai ka kakda che plane ban hoon taka ayla. Aga tasa nahi ga, mi khara khara cha ek mottha viman ban ho to hai. And the wife thought, would have maybe, this is a one day book, it will go up your own. But he went every day. After finishing his 9 hours, 10 hours of work, he went up and he started working on that plane. Not just he, he got involved with another fabricator. He actually made friends with the fabricator. He bought him, it's like, this is what I plan on fabricator. He said, how will you take off from here? It's like, that is bad ka bad. Pehle banate. You know, it took him some years, but the guy actually built a plane on his terrace. And now today, the government has given him a contract of 35,000 crore rupees to build planes and government is giving him sanctions and a big place and a factory. Why? It all started with one dream that I will build a plane. The vision consumed him in such a manner that they called him the madman who's building a plane on the terrace. But today, they don't call him a madman. They call him a visionary. Yes. The vision needs to consume you. Yes. Yes. I don't know what is consuming us today, church, but if it's not a vision that comes from God. Proverbs chapter 29 says, verse 18, in, when there is a lack of a prophetic vision, people run wild. They don't know where they are going. Say, I need a vision for my life. Hallelujah. Are you getting what I'm trying to say? Just knowing that this is what I want. No, no. You do everything. People should call you names. Pagal hai. Plane banayega. That's what they did to Noah. What are you doing, Noah? I am building an ark. What is an ark? I don't know, but I am building it. Why are you building it? Some rain is coming. What is rain? I don't know, but I am preparing for it. Why they called him mad, they called him names, his children might have said, my father has gone cuckoo in his head. But he kept doing it, he kept building it. The vision that God gave him consumed him. And I'm not just talking about spiritual, I'm talking about you want to build a business, it should consume you. You want to be an artist, it should consume you. You want to be a coder, it should consume you. Bill Gates, he did not step out of his garage for 15 days straight. Coding, 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 15 days and after that he comes out windows. Today, we say, oh, kya paisa hai na, uske paas. no, 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 he had a vision. Yes, yes. See, we all talk about the money, but we don't talk about the vision. He didn't say, I want to build windows because I want to make money. No, no. He said, I want to make computers available to everybody. Mm. 
at the same time around somewhere steve jobs was also building his own systems they were contemporaries but they both had visions a man with a vision they cannot stop you see them they, they they will never be idle un log kabhi aisa phukat baith ke time waste nahi karta rahega why because they are seeing the vision and they are running you seen that movie bhag mil ka bhag i loved that movie because it showed a man who in spite of fears in spite of tragedies in spite of all the things that could happen wrong to him still overcame why am i saying this because there is a champion inside everybody sitting in this room yes. now if you don't believe it i pray that god would help you believe it but there is a champion there is an overcomer there is a victorious man there is an overachiever inside everybody sitting in this room why because they were born through a victorious man Amen. they were born they because my father is a victorious man yes i have the dna of victorious inside of me yes. i will not sit aside and waste my time it doesn't matter how old i am how young i am jesus at 12 at 12 years of age elaja how old are you 12 your age jesus at your age was in the temple talking to the pharisees the religious people and they were amazed at his wisdom and you have the same wisdom inside you his mother came and said son why did you do this to us we were so worried about you three days we were searching for you he said don't you know i've got to be about my father's business at 12 years he knew what he was running after he did not figure it out on the way he just knew yeah, yeah. hallelujah he did not know everything that would happen at that one but he knew he was to do his father's business yeah. hallelujah yeah. to know his father's business he had to know his father yeah. yes yes amen if i know my father i will know what he wants out of me yes. hallelujah yes. if i know my father he will tell me what he wants me to do wo batayega mujhko ki mere ko kya karna hai life mein age does not matter you know at at when when moses was still a a baby that had to be breastfed he was still earning bread for his house yeah. because the queen said call a woman who can take care of and that woman was being paid because she was taking care of he was still earning money so age does not matter say age does not matter age does not matter if i know my god agar main apne parmeshwar ko janta hu elisha will walk into his classroom one day lay hands on people and the kids will start speaking in tongues we don't have to wait till he becomes 18 yes yes amen I need to know my God. 
in spite of situations, in spite of circumstance. You know, one of my most favorite characters in the Bible is Nehemiah. Nehemiah was a slave in a country far away from his home. When he heard that Jerusalem was in ruins, Bible says he wept, he cried, he asked for mercy. See, most of us, we do that. We weep, we cry over a situation. We are so overwhelmed with sorrow about certain things happen. We, we weep about them, we, we cry. But next day we go to work. But, but his, his sorrow had so overtaken take, him that he stood before the king and the king said, why has your countenance fallen? And, you know, mind you, you couldn't be sad in front of a king. He could have killed him. He said, doesn't matter. I am overwhelmed with this news. He says, no, 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 no. My country, my city, the city of my God is in ruins. If you would have said, no, 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 no. That's why I spoke to you about the truth setting you free. Agar Nehemiah bolta hai, nahi, khali sardard hai. Tabhe teek nahi hai. So Raja said, okay, come and come and come and come. But he said, no, 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 no. I am not doing well. There is a problem. I have a deep desire in my heart that I go and fix that problem. Yeah. I'll tell you what a vision is. A vision is when you see something broken and you wanting to fix it. Yeah. Yes. 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 And the king said, okay, you want to go? How many days will you need? And we know the story. He went. And the wall that was destroyed for ages, he built in 52 days. See, his situation was against him. His circumstances were against him. The odds were against him. People that he was wanting to work for, they were against him. Yeah. But when you are captured by a vision, the vision itself will bring people who will stand with you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you were blessed. Do like, share and subscribe. And don't forget to leave a comment below. God bless.